All right, guys, KB32 here, check it out. We're sitting out here at the Hyatt Farms shooting range. They, this place is absolutely incredible. They got a, oh, I don't know, it's like a 18 hole golf course full of uh, sporting clays. Then also they've got the guys over here at the pistol base. And then right now, this is one hour away from Charlotte, which makes it very unique. There's a 600 yard range with steel. They have spotters out here. It's really cool. Uh, but check them out uh, at uh, Hyatt Farms, uh, right, dot com. I think something like that. NCSportingClays.com. NCSportingClays.com. I'll put the link down below. So what are we doing here today? Guys, we are testing out a 77 grain bullet by the guys over there at Callaway Ballistics. Now, they sent these things out for me to test. They're still, that's what we're doing. We're testing them out, okay? So uh, we're gonna check for accuracy. And then most of all, what I wanna do is I wanna check for standard deviation. Uh, I wanna make sure that the most important thing with a 77 grain, if you're gonna use it in competition, is that it has to be consistent. So uh, my good friend over here, Cody, believe it or not, that's kind of cool because I'm Coda Boy 32 and his name is Cody. Marine, a canine guy, love it. So we're testing out also the uh, this deal from the guys over at Competition Electronics. I got sick and tired of my uh, chronographs going down, so I really wasn't gonna flip the bill for a uh, lab radar. And I've got, had the other one where it straps to the barrel, uh, but as you can see, with something like this, it doesn't really work that well. Um, last time I put this thing together, uh, the handguard was uh, went out past the first port on the uh, muzzle brake, so I was getting a lot of discharge back. If you watch my Instagram channel, there was a video on there, me blasting this thing, it looked like a black powder gun because it was just going everywhere. So the cool thing about this uh, Pro Chrono chronograph is it does tether to your telephone and it's reliable, which is one of the reasons I wanted to do this. So here's what we're gonna do. I've got a target down at the 100 yard marker, uh, one inch dots. We're gonna go ahead and give this uh, ammo a couple tests. I'm gonna run my competition rifle because this is what that 77 grain is being set up for. We're gonna test it out. Then I'm gonna switch over to the ultimate rifle to build Black Mamba, and we're gonna see how that works out because I know with really good factory ammo, uh, it does really well. So uh, here we go, stand by. Also with this uh, chronograph, it actually calls out the, uh, the, uh, the velocity, which is really nice because you don't have to come off the rifle to look at it, and it's right here. So here we go. We'll shoot at that left side target first. A little breeze, but probably. Two thousand seven hundred twenty-one. Not cool. Two thousand six hundred eighty. Two thousand seven hundred four. Two thousand six hundred eighty-five. Okay, that's not bad. Um, you know, and again, like I said, we're testing this stuff out. And uh, one, I want to make sure this rifle runs reliably because I'm going to be using this in the three gun events. All right, I got uh, 20 round mags here. So you say 20 round mags. I'm going to be doing the. Uh... All right, so right now we got a little bit of a breeze going on. Nothing. It's, it feels like it's coming right at us. Uh, the nice thing is they do have some flags out there at distance at the 600 yard targets. So we'll walk it out to uh, 600 yards. There we go. Cody, you on? I'm on. Outstanding. All right, so let's do this. We'll start at, uh, of course, 100. Hit. All right. Uh, there's 200. Hit. All right, so the cool thing about the reticle that we're using, let's go 200 on the left side. Hit. Cool thing about the reticle that I'm using, the ACSS Raptor M8, uh, and I'll put a class together on this thing as well. Um, let's see, that's a 300 yard target, I think, right there. We'll find out. Hit. <laughs> Watch this, I'm gonna land it right on top of it. Hit. How's that? <laughs> and that's at 250. That's 250? Okay. Let's see. Is 
That gong, is that that gong with the red stripe on top of it four? That's 500. That's five? All right. Just under. Right underneath it again. All right. Six o'clock, hit. All right, perfect. All right. Uh, the big gong. What is that one at? In the center or all the way at the in, back? In the center. That's a 300. 300, okay. Okay, and I think that uh, that one target, uh, second Ipsic on the right hand side out, is that 400? Past the center gong? Yeah, uh, I th yeah, on the far right hand side. The far right with the red stripe? No, is there a red stripe on it? Uh, the one on the ground? Yeah. That's at 300 as well. Okay. Get back. All right, I think this other one's four, I believe. Let's try it. Wow, that was way low. Oh, you know why? Because that's 500. That's an impact. All right. <laughs> that one's oh, the one right side of the gong. That's four? Or did you say? Yes. Impact. All right, fantastic. Uh, let's do this. The uh, two Ipsix standing out there at six. Uh, there's a paper, by the way. Oh, never mind. All right, do the gongs. Okay. Left side. Just under. Right under again. Good spot. Oh, that went over. Right off to the 9 o'clock. All right, so let's try some more here. This is where standard deviation comes in. I'm going to center gong. Oh, let's go right hand, right side gong. Okay. Just under to the left. Got a little wind now. Well, not that much. Just off left. Back. All right. Seven o'clock on the edge. Hit back. Six o'clock on the edge. Fantastic. Hit back. Two inches low center. Well. Hit back center. All right. Let's go clear it. All right, so here's the deal. When you're using the BDC like this, uh, ammo's gotta be consistent. But secondly, what you wanna do is true it up right about 400 on a piece of paper uh, so that if there is some deviation in that round versus the, the what's on the reticle, you can make up for that. But other than that, uh, we've got a little bit of work to do, and uh, but ha halfway decent, not very bad. Uh, Cowboy Ballistics, doing a good job and uh, we'll keep testing this stuff. This barrel uh, probably doesn't have more than maybe 100, 150 rounds through it, so about 200 rounds would probably really come in with the uh, copper equilibrium. But with that, I just want to give a big shout out to the guys over here at uh, Hyatt Farms. Uh, man, what a beautiful facility. And they've got a clubhouse, they've got a little diner, uh, excellent hot dogs, <laughs> which I'll be having one in here in a few minutes. And also they have a, uh, a pro shop on duty, uh, uh, armor, uh, gunsmith, actually trained gunsmith, uh, also uh, a good selection of rental firearms as well as uh, just regular old firearms. So with that being said, guys, we always end up like this. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless us men and women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom because freedom is not free. Y'all be good. I'm out of here. Boom.